Hello baseball fans. This video features the Phillies all-time team from 1959 through the 2018 season. Team's been determined using some very basic calculations with baseball statistics. Pitching for the Phillies is Steve Carlton. The card shown for him is Topps 1980. Steve Carlton is in a class of his own among Philly pitchers with statistical totals way beyond all other pitchers of his era. Steve Carlton pitched for the Phillies for 15 years and made the All-Star team seven of these seasons. He led his league in strikeouts five years and ERA once. He won the Cy Young Award four times. He led the Phillies to the playoffs during six seasons and to the World Series twice with the World Championship in 1980. He was inducted to the Hall of Fame in 1994. Catching for the Phillies is Darren Dalton. The card shown for him is Topps 1992. Darren Dalton played all or part of 14 seasons for the team, and he appeared in at least half of the games during six of these seasons. His best years statistically were 1992 and 93, when he had over 100 RBI in each. He made the All-Star team in 1992, 1993, and 1995. At first base is Ryan Howard. The card shown for him is Topps 2014. Ryan Howard was with the Phillies for 13 years. He was Rookie of the Year in 2005, and he made the All-Stars three times. He led his league in home runs twice and RBIs three times. He was MVP in 2006. He was key to leading the Phillies to two World Series, including a World Championship in 2008. Chase Utley is at second base. The card shown for him is Topps 2006. He was with the Phillies for 13 seasons and made the All-Stars six of these, including five straight years from 2006 to 2010. He led his league in runs scored in 2006. He's also a key contributor to the great Phillies teams that were in the postseason from 2007 through 2011 with two World Series and a 2008 World Championship. Mike Schmidt, of course, is at third base. The card shown for him is Topps 1977. Mike Schmidt is far and away the best offensive stat contributor for the Phillies with almost twice as high the stats of any other offensive player by this system. He played for 18 seasons from 1972 through 1989 with the team, and he made the All-Stars 12 of these years. He led the National League in home runs an incredible eight times. He, along with Steve Carlton, led Philly's teams of his era to the postseason six times, including two World Series, World Championship in 1980. He was league MVP three times in 1980, 81, and 86. He was inducted to the Hall of Fame in 1995, and he's also the third baseman in my all-time team for the National League. At shortstop for the Phillies is Jimmy Rollins. The card shown for him is Topps 2013. He, along with Ryan Howard and Chase Utley, was a key part of the great Philly teams that were in the postseason from 2007 through 2011, with two World Series and a 2008 World Championship. He played 15 seasons with the team. He made the All-Stars three times and led the league in runs scores, sc run scored in 2007. He was MVP in 2007. Bobby Abreu is the Phillies' first outfield. The card shown for him is Topps 1998. He was with the Phillies for nine seasons from 1998 to 2006, and he consistently put up excellent numbers with over 100 RBIs in five of these years and 100 runs in six of them. And he had batted over 300 in six of these seasons. He made the All-Star team in 2004 and 2005. If you look at his numbers, the point total generally represents the percent that they did better than the average player during these years. And Bobby Abreu is, is unique in that every season that he was with the team, he was more than 10% better than average. Most players have at least a season or some injury or something that makes them falter, but every year he was more than 10% better during his time with the team. Their 
for getting more than 10 points each year. Greg Lazinski is my second Phillies outfield. The card shown for him is Topps 1974. He played with the Phillies for 11 seasons and made the All-Stars four of these each year from 1975 to 1978. He combined with Mike Schmidt as the offensive power behind the Phillies teams that made the playoffs in the late 1970s, playing in the postseason five times. He was on the 1980 Phillies championship his final year with the club. Johnny Callison is my third Phillies outfield. The card shown for him is Topps 1961. He played with the Phillies for 10 seasons, and he had several productive seasons, scoring over 90 runs five times and having over 100 RBIs twice. He made the All-Star team three of these years. The next page includes the next top six pitchers for the team and the top three hitters who didn't make the first team. The players on this team are at, uh, on this page are as follows. Cole Hamels with the 2014 card. Kurt Schilling with the, with the 1992 card. Jim Bunning with the 1964 card. Chris Short with the 1969 card. Cliff Lee with the 2011 card. Roy Halladay with the 2012 card. Roy Halladay is pretty unique in his position with the team in that he earned it with just two very great seasons, 2010 and 2011. In these seasons, by the system I use, he earned enough points to put him ahead of many other players who played a lot more seasons with the team than he did. The additional position players on the team include Dick Allen with the 1966 Topps card. He had a lot of points, but unfortunately for him, Mike Schmidt was the third baseman who had more than any other third baseman. The next player is John Crook with the 1994 card, followed by Scott Rowland with the 1998 card. Aaron Nola should earn a spot on the team this or next year if he stays healthy and keeps his ERA down. He'd easily make the team if he matched his phenomenal year of 2018, which he's doing well this year, but he's not doing that well. Please keep an eye out for the Al's All-Time Stat Details video that I'll be posting next month, which will include more detail on the, how the statistics are developed behind this. Well, that's all I have today for my all-time Phillies team. Please let me know if you enjoyed this by hitting like. I'll do similar postings for additional teams if there's interest. So please share this with others and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks.